guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Megan, this is Ethereal Art, and today I am reviewing canvas from Arteza. Um, they sent me some, where's my box? Uh, box bait, I'm just going to show you the cardboard, I think. Well, I guess my hands are big enough. Er, sorry if I was hitting the table. This is their, sorry I already opened it, um, stretch canvas 12 by 12 economy cotton. It's their eight pack, um, five by eight inch profile. You can see the back. It is um, pre gessoed with an acrylic acid free gesso, back stapled pine wood stretcher bars. Um, let's see. Oh, let me put this down real quick. Not really heavy, but my hands aren't wide enough. So this is an 8-pack of the 12 by 12 um, They have it on their website for $22.97. Um, I did the math because I'm very frugal, so I like to do the math. And for each canvas, it was $2.75. Um, 75? 78. $2.70 some cents, um, which is a really good deal. And the best part about it is if you go to their website, um, it is free shipping. There's no minimum, which is really nice. Um, I know there's some art stores that offer free shipping for 35 and above or 50 and above, but sometimes I just want to go and get one thing, um, like a pack of canvases, and I don't want to have to figure out what to add to it um, to make that 35 or $50, which I always need things, but sometimes you just, you know, you're like, I just want to get this real quick. So um, anyway, that's a really, really great selling point for me personally. Um, anyway, especially since I do a lot of art shopping online because um, I don't like taking my kids into Hobby Lobby. It's, <laughs> it's one less stop I have to make or they, they see a gob of things that they want. So this is pre-gessoed and it's a really, really smooth surface. It feels really good. I mean, it just feels really soft um, compared to other canvases I've used. You can really feel the gesso. I know some people go over their pre-gesso canvases. Um, I do not. And this definitely feels like you would not um, need to even if you normally do because it has just a really nice surface. Um, so the link will be in the description bar if you'd like to check it out their website. They have several different sizes of canvas. They also have canvas panels and I'm thinking about ordering some of their canvas panels because um, I have used some canvas panels. This is master's touch and I know it doesn't warp very much at all it does a little bit but not very much and then I've used other canvas panels that do warp with pouring since there's so much moisture and the paint is so heavy um, so I think I might order some of their canvas panels and test them because I do like using canvas panels especially when I'm doing um, some kind of testing for a new technique or something or for dips um, it's really nice to have something inexpensive like a canvas panel to use for that. So, that is on my shopping list. So let's get started. I am going to use, here's my colors. This is apricot, light apricot, excuse me, which I don't know why. I'm not a big peach fan usually, but I love this apricot. And if you paint um, portraits, their light apricot and sangria red are must-haves for portraits. They blend to make a very, very beautiful blush kind of um, lip color, blush color, just a beautiful combination. Um, I'm also using silver. Do, 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 do. Prussian blue and titanium white. So those are my colors. And I am going to challenge myself because I'm going to do a flip and drag. Flip and drags are not my strong suit. Um, in the past, I've not done super duper well with them. I think I need to clean a cup for my flip and drag cup. Um, in the past, I've not done really, really well with flip and drags. I either add too much paint, kind of knowingly, because I have a hard time not adding very much paint to a paint cup, uh, <laughs> pour cup. Um, and other times I've poured the cup right off the canvas while it still has paint in it, um, which is just silly, but I've done that more than once. I hate to say that. So anyway, but I'm going to try it because I really, really like these colors, but I don't want to, 
I don't want a canvas full of them. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to go from a corner um, out. That's kind of my process. I'm thinking to do it here. One of these. One of these. Uh, one of my... Um, do, 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 do. Some tax isn't in quite right. I know because I tested the canvases to make sure they weren't warped when they sent them, and they were not. All of them came wonderfully packaged and unwarped, which is nice. Okay, so anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so I'm going to do white, and then I'm going to use my flip and drag cup. Um, I'm going to start at one quarter and kind of try and get this kind of covered. Or do I just want to do a flip cup? like on this side and kind of, let's do a flip cup. Let's just not press my luck. Okay, flip cup. So let's see. Let's put the blue, no, let's put the peach on the bottom. Now let's see, my peach is opaque, my blue is semi-transparent and my blue, or my white is opaque. Um, I think this peach and the blue, if they do mix a little bit, if they bleed into each other just a hair bit, I think it's going to be really pretty anyway. Um, I think it'll make a pretty color. I didn't test it. I should have. I did not. But I'm not, I'm not too worried. I'm going to go in with blue, top of my silver, and just a little bit more of this light apricot. I wish they sold this light apricot as an individual color. They're individually a little bit more blue. You can't have too much blue. Um, watch the blue just totally take over and I'll have too much blue. <laughs> but um, they do have a somewhat limited... Um, paint color option that you can order individual colors. They have lots and lots of colors if you order multiple packs. Okay. Oh, I didn't do my little sound effect. Hmm. Now if the painting does not turn out, we know we all know why. It's because I did not do my sound effect when I flipped my flip cup. I usually do. Alright, so I'm just going to cover my canvas in white paint. You don't need to watch this part, so I will be right back. Okay, so I guess we are ready. Oop, I'm going to pop that bubble. Oh, look, there's a Doberman hair. Let's get that out of there real quick. <laughs> we'll say one more time, the surface of this canvas is really is beautifully smooth. So the paint spread really, really well, really easily. Okay. Do do. All right, ready? We'll do the sound effect when we lift it to try and get some of our mojo back. Ready? Bloop. I love that. We're probably going to lose it. That sure is pretty right there. Okay. Which way do I want to tilt? This way? I'm going to lose that blue. I think no matter what I do, well, let's go this way a little bit. Okay, am I only the only weirdo that thinks this looks a bit like a skull and that looks a bit like a brain? Hmm. Also looks just a hair bit spacey, doesn't it? I should I should torch real quick before I tilt anymore. <laughs> I did put, I don't think I told you my mix. I did, I mixed everything with um, one part paint to one part Floetrol, and then I added um, one drop of treadmill belt silicone. That's spot on is the brand. Okay, let's go this way. Those cells are pretty. Thinking about kind of trying to cover this corner, then using a straw to kind of blend out these edges. 
and then leaving a lot of negative space because I don't like the way it's looking. Oh, there's my straw. I do have an airbrush gun that my husband oh, got me that I haven't really messed with yet. But I don't have his air thingamajig. What's that called? Oh, the air thingamajig, you know, that the air pressurizer. That is not what it's called. But it pressurizes the air for, I don't know. It has a name, but I don't have it. It's out in the garage. Okay. Ooh, I'm loving that blue with that, against that white. This is, what did I say, Prussian blue? Sorry if my frizzy hair is in camera. the white. Really, really pretty. Okay, let's see. Do I want to go a little further right here? I think maybe I do. Let's see. Oop. can't talk and blow through the straw at the same time and some of you are probably rejoicing about that. <laughs> I think I'm going to go over I think this way just a little bit more. would be pretty for a Jupiter pour, wouldn't they? This apricot and this blue with a little bit of silver. Maybe not all silver, but like the silver where it mixes in right there kind of mutes the blue. Gives it kind of that Jupiter-y look. Okay, I'm going to stand up on my chair. I think I'm going to call that one done. I like the negative space. I've been wanting to do a negative space one for a while, and every time I do, I don't like the edges. Um, and I can always forget my straw because the straw really makes the edges kind of soft and, and nice. So I am going to call that one done. First one I've done for a little while that hasn't needed too much um, fiddling. Although I did fiddle with the straw. but Okay, so we'll do some close-ups. Don't forget to check the description bar for links to Arteza so you can check out their canvas prices and see what sizes they have and their paint as well which is always wonderful to work with. You can also find other places that I am online, such as my, my Facebook group, Fluid Art Fanatics. That's a pretty area right there. Um, and my Facebook page. Instagram and I are friends again. Well, Instagram and my phone. I've always been friends with Instagram, but my phone did not like Instagram for a while. But they're getting along again, so I'll be posting again on there. My Etsy store, all those fun places. I 
desperately need to update. So comment and say hi. I always love to hear just a little hello, even if it's just a wave or a hi from you guys. Feel free to share your social media links in the comments also, so I can see where you are, if you have an Instagram and such. And as always, guys, happy pouring. We'll see you next time.